scraps. You have crazy timing. What What is it about 6 o'clock, me start playing video games, that makes you think it's your time to shine? Lie down in this very comfy kitty bed that I've set up for you. Right there. Get into bed. I'm going to blow my brains out. Scraps. Every time. I just turned on the stream two seconds ago. Okay, hold on. I got a tweet anyway. What do you need, little cat? What do you need, little cat? Let's game. Get a tweet out that I am streaming. Don't I have a now streaming graphic? I thought I did. Scraps, lie down. How do I not have a YouTube graphic? How do I not have a YouTube graphic? Scraps, will you just lie down? How's everybody doing tonight? Is anybody in this chat? Is this even working? Look at this. Look at this. This is ridiculous. Right, where, what is it? Solo. What do you need, Scraps? What do you need? Okay, so you're gonna lie down right there. Is this where you wanna be now? This is my keyboard. And here's this dumb cat. Okay. You gonna let me play my video game? Are you gonna let me play my video game? Are you gonna let me play my video games? Are you gonna let me play my video games? Are you gonna let me play my video games? What is that? Is he fleas again? You know these little burrs in your fur. I think you have fleas. I gotta get the flea comb out. Are you gonna let me play my video games? Video games, video games, video games, video games, video games. Video games. Guys, you gotta get a cat. You gotta get a cat. You gotta get a cat. <sighs> Okay. The worst part of having a cat, though, is I could literally play with this little thing for hours and nothing would get done. You got this whole bed right here. Why do you want to be there? Why don't you go on to bed? Go on to bed. Go on to bed. Go on to bed. All right. You're going to be directly in front of the monitor on which I play the video games. I understand. All right. Seems stupid to me. Seems like a stupid place to set up shop. But what do I know? I'm not a cat. If I was a cat, I would use the big fluffy bed that my dad put down for me. I wouldn't just... Whatever. Do whatever feels right. So this is going to be interesting. Yesterday I sliced off the tip of my thumb while cutting garlic. And then I put this game in without thinking about it. And now I'm going... Is this going to just jack up my thumb? So we'll see. I don't know if I can play this without my thumb. Mud's a good guy. Scraps is nice. Oh, Scraps is my favorite, though. Vito, why aren't you laying down? I thought about it. I thought about doing a laying down stream. Hi, little Scraps. Hi, little baby. You got all these little birds in here. Do you have fleas again? Do I have to get the flea comb out? What is that? What is this? What is in your fur? Look at these little like snags in your fur. Alright. We're gonna play Dead Cells. As you can see, all these empty bottles, every bottle is one you can fill if you get the upgrades from this game. As you can see, I do not have many of the upgrades because I have not done very well at this game thus far, I guess. I don't remember who I'm supposed to talk to though.
Oh, wait, I don't want to read this. Fuck, 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 fuck. Hold, skip. Okay. There's like a bunch of people in this starting area now, and I don't know if any of them are supposed to be talked to. Equipping aspect prevents you from unlocking new boss cells. Okay, well, I don't want to. Un I, I don't know what that means. Does anyone know what that means? What's a boss cell? And ask them why I get these little hiccups. Welcome to my training room. Pick your gear. Is this just for fun? Is this just like a goof? Choose your stance. Is this just for fun? What is the point of training? I just want to play the game for real. What game am I playing? Look in the description of the stream. Multiple Nox Bow. Yeah, that's pretty good. I don't understand the shields, man. I never use shields. Alright, so when does the when does the timer actually start? Oh, it started. Okay. So the second you go through that door, the timer starts. So one thing about this game is if you can get through the levels quicker, you get a you get a bonus at the end of the run. So, it's good to go fast. Gotta go fast, as my good friend Sonic would say. I'm still not that good at the buttons, though. I forget the buttons sometimes. Oh, shit. Did I fuck up my combo? No. You can also... Oh, I already found my way through. Nice. I should have tried to get, like, eight more kills. I think it's 20 is the first combo. Best conservative host on the internet. That's right. That's me. I have my good friend uh, Mother's Milk here as well. Which I'm going to have to give away at some point. If you would like to own Mother's Milk, let me know why you think you deserve it. Ah, uh, scene 30. Yeah, I am playing on Switch. I should probably be playing on a better controller. But since I got through in just two minutes, or under two minutes, I get all this stuff. Frost Blast. Downward Smash attacks cover the ground of the wild. I do like Downward Smash attacks, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, let's do it. I equip it or not? What do you mean? Downward smash attacks. Oh, inflammable oil. I thought flammable and inflammable mean the same thing. So I need a way to light it now? Alright. Where are you going, Scraps? Hello. Yeah, Twin Daggers 1. Not that exciting. I don't think I want to upgrade either of those. Combos! Necromancy. Recover health when killing an enemy. Yes, please. Because I'm bad at this game. Do, 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 do. A greener substance has oozed its way into some pipes. I'm gonna quickly share the link on my discords. Link. Uh, link. And link. Woo! Woo! So I need a weapon that does fire now, and then I can light all my oil on fire. I don't actually know, what does the oil do? It just makes them have oil on them? 
Oh, fuck. Wait. Oh, I didn't get hit. I'm trying to combo. I'm not good at getting combos in this game. Oh, I'm gonna get it! You have to kill a number of enemies without getting uh, hit. I'm going the wrong way. The Voshgrift was fun. We had Peter Coffin, who's a good guest. I'm gonna get that guy back on more often. This is all dead end. I gotta go up somehow, but how? Oh, I can climb these walls? I'm confused. No, I can climb sewer pipes. Okay. My Elmo tweet was on Short Fat Otaku. Oh, the one about how I hope Will Wheaton gets... They shoot Elmo in the head. Yeah, Short Fat Otaku seems to like me. Which is cool. Did he make a video about how Will Wheaton sucks? Fuck is this shit? Ow. Wait, who's in a f weird position? Peter Coffin? Fuck, I should not have looked away to look at that. What's his day job? I don't know. I think he was kind of a full-time YouTube guy at one point. I fucked up my combo. What is it? Wait, what do you do with these glowy things? He's not well liked by the bread tubers. They don't like him because he's old and he's right. Unlike them who are all young and retarded. Oh shit, the fucking. Those little explodey pods. You're gonna put out the Ghostbusters video? The new Ghostbusters movie comes out next month. So the answer is I have to get the video ready before then. So maybe I'll work on it after. I gotta work on it. I know the Ghostbusters video has to happen. I've just been, uh, actually, you know what? So, I had a bunch of comic book stuff I had to do, but thankfully, uh, a lot of what people were waiting on me for, I have, like, I have a little bit of time to work on other stuff, finally. Like, I've just been doing comic shit. I forgot I have a second weapon. I have not been using my bow at all. What is that red shit? What is that? I'm getting my ass kicked. Thoughts on Too Mad Death? I didn't know who he was until today, so who cares? Fuck! How far is it away from being done? I think it's like 70% of the way there. If I just powered through it, I could probably finish it in a week or two. Oh, what percentage is Super Killer done? I thought you meant the Ghostbusters thing. Super Killer is more than halfway done. So. What's up, Coleman? I realize this is a hard game to look at the chat while you play. <laughs> oh, well. Maybe I'll get better at doing that. I get some of my gold back, too. Yay! I got my gold back. I got my gold back! Yay! Alright, here we go. Fuck. See how I... I already... I always forget which button is which. There we go. Yeah. I mean, I'm in a... It's like a weird situation. I was thinking about it yesterday where I'm like... I was like, should I go see Madam Web and, like, review it? And then I was like, no. Because it's not going to get any views. Uh, it's going to be a waste of time. Like, at this point, I don't know. I'm, I'm an old man. I only have so much time left on this earth. And if I'm on my deathbed, and it's like, well, at least you made... I want to make... You know, I don't know. It's so hard to figure out what to do. I need to do at least... I, I need to do... There's some Star Wars stuff I want to do. I do still have some things to say about Star Wars. And then maybe I never have to talk about Star Wars again. Mm. 
Oh, do we get to see the part of the stream where you play in bed? It's coming. It's coming. Another year? No. No, well, I've been saving... I've specifically been savoring the Ghostbusters video essay for when a new Ghostbusters movie comes out. And now a new Ghostbusters movie's coming out. Although, yeah, it has been, what, three years since I started working on that Ghostbusters essay? Balance blade. Sapphire amulet. Wolf trap. I want a nice blade. Level four. And then I can recycle this for a buck. So I'm all, any uh, weapons I'm not using. Okay, okay. Gonna redo Star Wars. Well, honestly, so I, I've, I've always had this video I wanted to do. And the video was... Uh, how to fix Star Wars Episode 9. And before it would have cost a fortune to do it. Uh, yeah, upgrade the. Yeah. But now that AI exists, either I could do it or I could pay a guy to do it. I mean, I could probably just do it myself. Here's what's going to happen in the next couple months. I'm going to get a $6,000 computer. I've decided. Uh, I want I want the most powerful, fucked up computer I can get. You see how Ethan Klein lost all his weight? No, what did he do exactly? I mean, he looked skinny when I saw him. But was he, was he fat? I guess he was a little fat. He wasn't that fat, though. He was like chubby. Not chub, not even chubby. Just like, not a rail. I want to take all this money that I have, uh, which is not, I make it sound like I have a lot of money. I have enough money that I should invest in my setup. Like, there's no reason if I'm, if I'm doing this full time video editing and shit, like, there's no reason I should not just invest in the fastest possible machine I can possibly get because... Any amount of any amount of time I save is just more money I'll make. I mean it probably won't cost six grand, but I want I just want top of the line everything. Okay, I want I want a top of the line processor, I want a top of the line graphics card. I wanna go balls to the fucking wall. I mean a top of the line Mac is like twelve grand, so. I would prefer not to build a computer again. I would prefer a pre-built thing, just because I don't want to deal with it. But if it's really going to be that much cheaper to have someone else to build it myself, I can build it. Building PC is not that hard. How old is my current machine? Um, I think it's like four to five years old. It's got a Ryzen something in it. What the fuck with that thing, man? What am I supposed to do when he drops the eggs? Do I just run away or is there a way around it? That's what I don't know. Like, that thing drops the eggs and then I'm just like... All I know to do is run away from them. Alright, well, I'll just build it myself. It's gonna save me a grand. Plugging, plugging components into a motherboard is not that hard. He was nearly 300 at 511. He did it while taking Wellbutrin. No, Wellbutrin's not a weight loss drug. Wellbutrin's like a fucking antidepressant drug. I mean, maybe he was just too depressed to work out. Is that what the Evo 4090 card is going for? Now he's 175. There's no way Ethan ever weighed 300. He would be a fucking gigantic if he was 300 at 511. There's no way. There would be pictures of him. I could see him being like 240 maybe at the most. You're talking about Ethan from H3H3, right?
No, what I need to do is finally find someone to just give me fucking bathtub uh, testosterone. I'd probably have way more energy. Oh, I forgot you have to kill these stupid things. Man, they're good at running too. Uh, there's videos of Ethan at 300 pounds. Oh, I got this on a. I got it on a previous run. H3 was like 260, 270 at his peak. Yeah, I don't believe that guy was ever at 300. 300 is the heaviest I've ever gotten. Okay, and I'm at 290 right now. What happened with Derek and the no more plates shit? You talking about for testosterone? I never emailed him. Oh, that was a weird uh, something. Grenades. Well, grenades are better than. I never understand this tonic. Grant 45% of my missing health is bonus health and reduce damage for 9 seconds. Yeah, that sucks. I'll take the grenade. Ethan was Vito, aren't you 290? Yeah, exactly. But I'm saying Ethan Klein's never been as fat as I am. Because Ethan Klein's like a full inch shorter than me. Yes, it's me. You found a lighthouse. Visit Mitchell's house. Ethan's probably on Ozempic. I still haven't taken. My sister sent me some. Uh... Actually, I don't know if I'm supposed to out her for. I don't know if you're allowed to send that legally. Who knows? Somebody who is not my sister sent me some bathtub, whatever the new version of Ozempic is, because Ozempic is. Ozempic just made me, th like, th I got to. It's like one of those things where. I, I couldn't take it. I couldn't take Ozempic anymore. Because the second I, like, injected it, I'm like, oh my god, I'm going to be throwing up for the next two days. Once you reach, like, the higher dose. And honestly, I'm a pretty squeamish guy to begin with. Like, I throw up really easily. I cannot hold shit down. So, that Ozempic was fucking me up. Oh man, I'm so lost. What the fuck? What the fuck? Why can't I get into any of these areas? Uh... I'll take a look. I don't remember ever H3H3 ever being a fat guy. You know, I remember being like kind of chubby, but... Did people think of him as a fat guy? I never heard people say, hey, there's this fat guy who's kind of funny, you know? Dude, what the fuck? How am I supposed to get up? Oh, okay, there is a vine. There's just grenades again. I don't even think it's good grenades. It's not. Is there a way to climb on walls that I don't know about? Who's using a knockoff? What would my rec recommendation for Vosh be? And I just basically act like nothing happened. And if anyone asks, just go, yeah, you know, I downloaded a bunch of hentai and, uh, just say I downloaded a bunch of anti and I wasn't really looking at it at that quick. 
And, uh... It is what it is. I don't know, man. It's not like Vosh is the only guy looking at fucking, uh... Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. I forgot it's Valentine's Day. Luckily, my one true love is here with me. My one true love. You are my favorite thing. You are my baby cat. Meow, 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 meow. Hi. Hi. What's up with you? What's up with you? What's up with you? Come here. What do you want? What do you want? What do you want? What do you want? Get off my keyboard. Okay. <laughs> Why are you showing everybody your butthole, as always? Get over here. Get over here. Stop going that way. Where are you gonna go? Go over here. Go to the bed, go to bed. Go to the happy bed. Lie down. Lie down. You don't wanna lie down? What are you doing? Why are you like this? She's just running around on my desk like she owns the fucking place. Get off! No, this is not the time to groom your foot. It is not foot grooming time. Go lie down. Go lie down. There's a bed right there. Go all the way down in the bed. Look at this. She's like trying to step on the keyboard. Stop trying to step on my keyboard. Stop trying to step on my keyboard. I was watching a... I should. I didn't see the actual birth of uh, Alex Stein's kittens, but I saw the mom licking them all afterwards, which was cute. Okay, you're literally gonna stand directly in front of the video game and lick your toes. Is that useful to me? Scraps, get the fuck out of there. Go lick your toes over here. No, no, no. Don't lie down there. Why would you not lie down in this delightful cat bed? You're an idiot. Don't get up. You're a bird fucking cat. Lie down in this delightful bed. It's delightful. Lie down in the bed. Lie down in the bed. Lie down in the bed. Pick a spot. Is that the spot? Is that where you're gonna be? Directly next to the bed for some fucking reason? Do you not like the bed? Do you want this? Do you want that instead? Here you go. How about that? You want just the mattress type deal? Is that comfier? Go. Go lie down. Don't just look at me like a psychopath. Lie down in the fucking bed. <laughs> She's just staring at me now. Go. 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 No, don't sniff my finger. Go. Go to the bed. Go to the bed. Go to the bed. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking kill you. I'm gonna I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna cut your little kitty hands off. You leaving? Where are you fucking going now? I'm gonna cut you up and make you into a soup. I'm gonna make you into a soup. Go go to your bed. 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 I have no idea what she wants at this point. There you go. You comfy there? Okay. Terrible spot. You're right on top of the wire for the webcam now. You're right on top of the wire. Right on top. Of the wire. Oh. Great. I like you. You're fine. I have no idea where I'm supposed to be going right now, though. <coughs> I feel like I'm about to go back to the beginning of the level. I'm, like, lost. Would I stream Poppy Playtime? Isn't that for, like, 12-year-olds? It's one of those uh, horror games for children. 
like uh, five nights at Freedy's. Oh man, I'm out of uh, I'm out of potions already. Okay, another dead end. Yes. Oh, I thought that thing was dead. I should call this game Dead Ends. Dead cells. Ooh, I get an extra cell every time I kill a guy for 45 seconds. I'm glad I found that after I had already killed all the guys. What the fuck? Where? I'm genuinely confused. Okay, here. Is this where I was supposed to go the whole time? Oh, about to be a bad guy. No, wait! Oh, fuck! Fuck. I just sold the thing I wanted. Uh, but wait. I can sell that serum down there, though. So I should have sold that for 100 bucks. 10,000 bucks to buy the ruby key? God damn. This looks like a Sega Saturn game. Yeah, it's got kind of like an interesting... I like the graphics for sure. Well, I definitely am not going to get the time bonus on this uh, level, so might as well try to get the combo bonus, right? Twenty-three combo. Okay, this is another enemy where I don't know. Am I just supposed to not die to it? Okay. So it explodes, and don't be near it when it explodes. How's Mr. Girl doing? Uh, he's making rap music, but he's been banned from everywhere. So he's banned from YouTube. He's banned from Patreon. Like, they've literally just tried... He's been killed, like... They've taken... I don't know, man. It's it's all too much. They've taken away his livelihood. It's tragedy. They've taken away his livelihood and nobody wants to fight for him, so... But it is one of those things where maybe he should just make a YouTube channel and hope it doesn't get banned again. But he just knows everybody's going to mass report him. Uh, JC Sivier says, stream yourself lying down playing video games. Luke Bagnell says, I thought you were supposed to be doing this from your bed. I could be. I'm just not doing it right now. So these are weapons that I unlock. Unlock custom. Unwalk. Wait. Okay. Are these like starter weapons? Am I unlocking starter weapons here? I mean, I might as well unlock these $5 weapons, right? Yeah, they banned it from Patreon. It kind of makes me want to... It sucks. It's like, sad. Let's unlock the backpack. Well, I was going to say, yeah, like, Mumkey. Oh, so this is literally spending souls to get them now? I thought it was, like, unlocking them. Fire Grenade 4. 
Oh, hey, this, the thing that overlays chats is actually working. Good. All right, well, I guess I'm turning these into money. Cool. I don't think that was a good plan, but I did it. Shoot an arrow. Biters crawl from the dead. Shoot an arrow in front of you. Yeah, no, this thing is sick. Drops a grenade when destroyed. No, give me something else. 175 damage to a frozen target. Okay. Let's upgrade the quality on that. Fuck it. There we go. One mutation available. Uh, range kills reduce cooldown. So this thing, my fucking sword shoots arrows, which is badass. Konami Kid says, I've been cutting my Seathon cl Clip Studio the last few weeks. Just wanted to say thanks for all the super killer updates. They're such an inspiration. Uh, yeah. Well, I don't know if you're being facetious or not, because I don't update nearly as much as I... I would like to update more, but like I also don't want to like flood people with emails. Maybe I should just make a blog talking about it instead. I don't want, I don't want to constantly be... Uh, emailing people. Uh, Riley Edwards asks, how's my Funko Pop? Bring me the head of Mother's Milk. Bring me the head of Mother's Milk. I have two of the keys already. If I save up a bunch of money, I could buy the last one. go okay so like what's the point i came all the way down here and there's nothing here except a portal to get back up i don't like the ramparts level for that reason rumble is full of pearl clutch and cuck conservatives okay so but some here's the thing I don't know, fucking know. mr girl like pisses me off sometimes because i'm like you should stream on kick and he's like i can't they support gambling and I'm like, listen, man, you gotta, like, make some concessions here. I think once you've been banned from everything else... Or maybe he'll stream on kick, but he refuses to monetize it. He refuses to accept super chats. Oh, uh, thanks, Konami Kid. Well, we've been doing a lot of cool stuff with it this, this month. Uh, did I take damage? Oh, fuck. I forgot to... Damn it, I always do that. Forgot to uh, get my health back, which is gonna fuck me. Electric whip three. Ignore shields. Yeah, Mr. Girl makes me want to kill him. I know, but it, at this point, look, I've told him a million times how to make money, and. He has these gay principles, and I go, okay, well, then do whatever you want to do, I guess. Honestly, these root traps are pretty good. Oh, I could combine the wolf. Yeah, okay, I'll combine these two. Fuck. What the fuck? We're now at zero. Seems insane. Like, he's... Dude, the, if you're Eric July, like, don't you go... Don't you go, oh, I must have done something wrong, right? Right? Because, uh... Like, I look at the guys who are, like, you know, my biggest fans, and they're kind of cool. I'm like, hey, cool. You know, Vito fans seem pretty cool. Aliquine here on Twitch. What's up, Aliquine? My number one Twitch follower. I go, all my followers are pretty cool. I like these guys, most of them. And then Eric's biggest supporter. See, I should have got my health up. And uh, Eric's biggest supporter is a psychopath weirdo who makes videos about him every day. And I would think if I'm Eric July, I would go, ooh, ooh. 
Uh, I was Riley in here. Oh, Riley Edwards. Hey, Riley. Scarefro has uh, too many gentlemen colors. She's not going to be your Valentine. Yo, prototype. Vito, if you had to stereotype what I look like, what would it be? Don't make me play that game. <laughs> I don't know, 450 pounds, uh, watching this, uh, stream while eating a big thing of garlic bread. I don't know who's doing what. I don't know. I'm sure you look great. Don't make me, don't make me assume what people look like. If you're my follower, I assume there's something wrong with you, but I can't know exactly what it is. But I'm sure you're beautiful on the inside. 450 pounds eating some garlic bread. So I got this big slammy hammer now, but it's slow. But it's big. The slam monster. Fuck. Teleporter. Beep. Ooh, I can send double bombs now. Oh, I can't get more than one bomb. Wait, I didn't check which one's better. Uh, no, that's terrible. Recycle. I can recycle items I don't want for gold. Because I've unlocked that ability. The fuck is that? What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? Face flask. Deal damage to myself. Crush a flask in your forehead to deal a little bit of damage to yourself. Is that for like builds where like damaging yourself does something? Sure, I'll take this. Panchaku. Oh, wait. Only one dollar to recycle that? Bam. Bam or slammer. Wow, that like stuns guys, huh? Fuck! Fucked up my fucking combo, you asshole. Would I have H3H3 as a guy? Yeah, but then I'd be like, hey. Why'd you say Mr. Girl was an um, admitted pedophile? That's not cool, man. He did that on his stream recently. He's talking about Vosh. He's like, see, Vosh had on this guy who's an admitted pedophile. And I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. Stop the clock. Can't just say that shit. Secret discovered. Can't just say that shit, Ethan Klein. Can't say that about my boy. One of my favorite tapes growing up was Can't Ban the Snowman. Which made a response to being banned. Mr. Girl should do the same. Might be a little late. Riley says I'll step up to be a guest. Come on by, man. Come on by. I want to have the... You know what we need to have? We need the biggest problem studio experience. Where, uh... I mean, usually if a guest is in town and really wants to come by, we'll say yeah. Or not a guest, like a listener. We've had listeners coming. Is the Royal Gardener's key? Oh, what the fuck? What the fuck? Oh, I can use these to jump? Fuck. That's confusing. Ooh, but I found an area. You work in film, Aliquine? How? You're 450 pounds. Eating that garlic bread. Can't make it to the you can't make it to those studios. You gotta work from home like that. Should have quoted the Mr. Girl music video. It's a music video though. That's like saying uh that's like saying Adam Sandler is actually a Satanist because he played uh what do you call it? He played one in a movie. Where we can see how messy... Yeah, uh... 
yeah. I mean, look, I I get it. I can't even be mad at him because it's you know, if it, if it was my house running it, I'm sure it would be messy as well. But the fact that he's like, why are you touching? Why are you touching the mouse? And I'm like, you can't not touch shit on this desk. There's shit everywhere. Maybe we'll have the biggest problem, uh, show experience, where you come in, you get a t-shirt. Nah, I wouldn't charge for that. That would be fucked. I remember Howard Stern would always, though, they would auction off, uh... Every consecutive hit that connects continues your combo. Okay, yeah. Uh, I remember they would have, like, visit the Howard Stern show, and they would always auction it off for charity. 4.45. Oh, I'm sorry, Aliquin. Uh, what are you talking about? My thumbnail is great. My YouTube thumbnail is me in hell playing video games. How big is the studio? It's not big. I mean, let's be honest. It's a laundry room. But we've had like four... You can get like four or five people sitting off to the side. We've done that before. Uh, like when Dick did the draw dick... Draw dick after his balls are injected with saline. The bit he fucked up by not taking a shower beforehand. Oh shit! So his, his uh, testic- He like couldn't even really inject the saline because it was like hurting him. And the guy's like, well yeah, you gotta take like a shower to like loosen it up first. He should have took a hot shower and then he could have- could have stomached it. So I've never been to this area. I don't know, uh, the Arboretum. Do I get like super special stuff for being in this area? What the fuck? What the hell was that? He gets line of sight to throw a rock at me? Okay. Oh, Madam Web. I heard it's like not even like funny bad. It's just bad bad. Otherwise, I would have went to go see it. I assumed it was gonna be like funny bad, but apparently it's just fucking boring. Oh shit. The big hammer, the whammer jammer. Oh fuck! Fuck, fuck, fuck. Man, this game is hard. Wait, what did it say? Hold to do what? heal. Okay, I already healed. Fuck, what am I doing? Alright, so here's the deal. After I activate this statue, this little guy comes out and I have to chase him, so I should clean up this area before I activate the statue. Did I ever finish Elden Ring? No, I need to get back to it. What am I doing? What the fart? Oh, I could actually, that, that's not a bad idea. Let the cooldown run out on this grenade, then light the, light the fire under where I know this guy's gonna spawn. No, activate. Activate! Oh, it's R to fucking activate? Fuck. Fuck! How do you get both of them? They went in different directions. Man, even planning it out, I fucked that up. This is a different Dead Cells roguelike, eh? No, this is Dead Cells. Does this look like it's not Dead Cells? Wow, I'm so bad at this game. I don't like the Vito's booty. It's just masochist manipulation. I say you let him burn everything. Uh, I'm. I don't know what to do with the Vito's booty bit. 
my my problem with it is not that I think there's a problem. My problem is I think it's not going to be funny after a while. I'm like, I don't know, man. I'm, I'm like, I don't know how to keep it organically funny. Like, yes, these first two are funny because I got tricked into opening a pop figure, and that's funny. But what else? Where does it go from there? Oh, don't attack these guys from the back, and then let them attack you from the front. Jesus Christ. How do I fight these guys? Should let him burn everything. It would be hilariously funny to watch all the donations get shit on. Uh, I DM Dick and he said there's something bad in it this week. Oh, okay. Wait, how do I see my map? Okay. I want to explore this whole area. Or is that where I came from? I don't want to miss anything. It seems like this area is supposed to have like super secret stuff in it because it was hard to get to this area. So I should try not to miss any items. Part of the problem with this game is figuring out what I'm supposed to do in different situations. Fuck. Okay, I don't want the ice grenade. That's... Well, actually, I do want the ice grenade because it gets rid of fucking face flask. Cliff Sami, you remind me I have clips I need to upload to our channel. Fuck. That's it? That's all that was down there? Like a shitty... That sucked. I don't understand the point of this area. Seems to me like if I unlock a super secret plant area, I should get some awesome shit. And then this, is this where I came in? What is this? Okay, there is a right side to this whole thing. Got it. Oh my god, how do I keep getting hit by all this garbage? I need a ranged weapon, is what seems to be happening. Vito's booty is the best bit from any podcast. You will never say no. <laughs> but is it funny if I never say no? That's what I don't get. <laughs> like... If it just gets down to it and every time I just say yes. I don't know. I don't want anything to get burned. I have acquired a blueprint. Well, that's cool. I think blueprints last between runs, right? Well, that's why we got to do another live show, so people can uh, come out and... Everybody wants to meet Sean, meet Dick. I don't know why Dick complains. Oh, doing a live show, it's so hard. I'm like, well, we don't have to make it crazy, man. It could just be we get a bar and we do a show. Fuck. Uh... I would like to I would like to travel somewhere. You know what? Honestly, I've been wanting to uh Oh my god, how am I taking damage from these assholes? What does a red triangle mean? Does it mean I need a red attack? I don't know what that red symbol that's popping up there means. Uh, I want to do one in, like, Massachusetts, because then I have an excuse to go back to Massachusetts. I 
you to set up I should set up a live show in like uh Western Mass. College town, man. It's only like two hours from Boston. People can come out. I mean, should I try to do it in Boston or should I do it in Western Mass where all the colleges are? If they did it in Western Mass, I could pack it with some of my buddies. Fuck you, dude. All right, I should just go to the next area. I'm like almost out of health. No reason I can't beat any of these plant people. Because I suck at video games. I'm bad at video games. Alright, I need to find a teleporter now. Okay. Okay. Oh my god. This is getting to be too much. This is getting to be too much. I have no health. There we go. New area. Let's do it. Let's get out of here. Go! Philly. We already did Philly. Let's go somewhere more central than tech Massachusetts. If I go to Massachusetts, I can visit my grandmother who's going to die. And I feel bad about that. Yeah, see, the bit is only funny if you get fucked over. How is it funny if you just get gifts? Renowned Zero is streaming right now. I should go. Uh, I should invite him on. He's streaming on YouTube. I don't really have a way for him to call in, though. Renowned... Zero. Doesn't look like he's live. Unless he's not streaming on YouTube. Three, but I never finished it. I only got 21 cells out of that whole area. God dang. I want to get that new Yakuza though. Oh, all my weapons are dog shit. No wonder I'm having a bad time. I haven't found a single decent weapon. All my weapons are bad. Yeah, I feel bad. My grandma is my only remaining grandparent. Oh, God. I feel guilty not having visited her in years. Hmm. I hate flying. I hate flying to Massachusetts. I do not... I hate being on a plane. I hate being near. Oh shit! Is this a is this a boss situation? Fuck, that hurt. Oh, I'm so good at remembering what my buttons do. Is this thing taking damage? Wow, I rolled into it. That was smart of me. Like I said, my weapons are bad. Oh my god. Not only are my weapons bad, but they're fucking slow. Fuck! Fuck! Whatever, that was a bad run. All my weapons were terrible. Have her on biggest problem. I've only played Fallout 3, Sheldon, yeah. I could just do a veto show and, uh... Maybe I could do a stand-up show. That's retarded. I'll talk to Dick and see if he wants to do a Massachusetts show. I can set it up. I can find a venue. I was going to say we could have it in Conway and get really fucked up, but then everybody has to drive to Conway. And, uh... Good luck with that. 
Conway's awesome, but... It's in the middle of nowhere. Do a drag show. I don't actually know how many people would come out for a Massachusetts show, though. Fuck. Come on! Don't- f Oh my god, my combo gets interrupted by stupid shit. Give me something good. What the fuck? What the fuck was it at? Ooh. Nice bow blueprint. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Keep up the pace. Fuck! Fucking shield guy. Fucked up my combo again. Better crowbar than the one I have. Nope. Same fucking one. If I did a drag show, what song would I pick? Uh, I've never thought about that at all. I don't know. I'd do like a Stevie Nicks song, man. Landslide. Took my love and I took it down. Saw a mountain and I turned around. And I saw my reflection in a snow covered hill. The landslide brought me down. Do I have to hit Stevie, do I have to hit the Stevie Nicks uh, notes though? Mirror in the sky, what is love? Could the child of my eyes still rise above? And I saw that I don't remember the fucking lyrics to landslide in a snow covered hill the landslide brought me down two minutes 50 seconds is that fast enough and if you see my reflection in a snow covered hill could a landslide bring me two minutes you want? That that's too fast. That's bullshit, two minutes. I want a decent weapon. She's a brick. Ba -na 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 house. Ba -ba -na. All right, we're going to the arboretum again. Can I get a decent fucking weapon? I heard you like JRPGs. You should check out Grandia too. I'll be back in two seconds. Don't leave, DK. I got this 
think for uh, I think I paid like 15 bucks for this so there you go I didn't I didn't even look at what's in it yet. I think it's got the oh yeah soundtrack 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 and the game let me see the disc art not for sale not for sale show me the grandia disc art though oh yeah that's crisp that's a crisp looking baby i saw that pop up and i said you know what i think i gotta own that like 15 20 bucks or something what's up hunter how you doing are you doing I did buy it on whatnot this guy on whatnot here, here's the thing about whatnot if you find a guy who's only got like five people watching like some guys will just give it away man he was selling games he's like yeah, yeah, I was getting like 20, 30 bucks off on a bunch of like, I got like Pocket Fighter for Saturn for like 30 bucks. I got Asuka Burning Fest for PlayStation for like, I don't even remember. And at that point, it's like, well, I didn't buy everything he had, but I was like, some of this shit, it's like, it makes no sense not to buy it because I could just flip it on eBay and make 20, 30 bucks each game. Uh. Yeah, you. Here's the thing. Go on a week. Go on the weekends when there's a million people streaming, and try to find guys who like don't have a ton of people watching. It's just like some guy, and especially, uh, have you seen those guys who every day they're just selling Japanese bulk? If you just sit there and watch and you know what you're looking for, if you're interested in Japanese games, like I've seen them. One time I fucked up bidding and I'm pissed. They're like, okay, all these bulk like trash games, and they put up a copy of a Lest for Super Nintendo for Super Famicom, which is like a hundred and twenty dollar game, and I saw it go for like forty bucks. I've gotten some shit like like Saturn games, because everyone's like, wait, what? Is I got Sexy Parodius came up, like they said, it's not like complete bulk, but I got Sexy Parodius for like forty bucks, which is like an eighty dollar shooter. Yeah, also, uh, learn how to use the max bid function. For some reason, people don't know. You can you can go into it, click, I want max bid, and I want my max bid to be 20 bucks. Because people are like, wow, how do you keep sniping these? How do you keep sniping these deals, Vito? And I'm like, because I'm not automatically, I'm not putting my bid in with my fucking finger. I just say, it up until twenty dollars if if the price if anybody tries to bid me up just match their bid and it's just an automatic feature so you can win i go on those japanese junk auction streams and just for games i just go like yeah max but i'm getting the games for like a dollar or two here you want to see all the crap i've been getting hold on we're gonna this is a game stream now Where's my camera? Okay. Welcome to the Vito has a disease stream. This is one of the two full Home Depot boxes. Because these guys are just... It's like... 
They're just giving it away. And look, a lot of this stuff's not worth like a ton. But it's like, oh, hey, one of my favorite, a game I like, and it's the cool Japanese version. You know, okay, Saga Frontier 2. It's like, yeah, for two, three dollars. Dude, this is the, this is all of it adding up. I got Gundam Wing. Street Fighter, the movie, the game. I uh, got a nice copy. It'll be like, you know, do you want to spend five bucks on a Japanese copy of Air Geese? I'm like, yeah, it's five bucks. But what's this one? I have no idea what this is. Honestly, you know what I've been doing? They'll put up games and I buy them just because it's like a fresh PS2 case. So it'll be a dollar for like some Mahjong game. And then I just throw, well, I don't throw out the Mahjong game. I like put it in with my loose games, but then I just reuse the case because it's brand new. Here's the M McDonald's. Parappa the Rappa meets uh, Ape Escape. McDonald's exclusive adventure game. Dude, the Japanese versions are a bargain. The only problem is this, where I go, oh, it's Fist of the North Star. Awesome. And then I buy it and I go, fuck, it's Fist of the North Star Pachinko. I don't want <laughs> Crap, I bought a Pachinko game by accident. Uh... Now, stuff like these, again, like, all right, Christmas Nights. I paid a guy, it was five bucks. Five bucks for a Japanese copy of Christmas Nights. I don't have the English version of Christmas Nights. X-Men vs. Street Fighter, I think he wanted, like, 20 bucks. This this Pocket Fighter, like, 30 bucks for the Saturn version of Pocket Fighter. Asuka, very rare fighting game, I think I got for, like, 40 bucks. Mr. Driller was, like, five. I just like, I just, you know, I just like the artwork and shit. I think I overpaid for Tail Concerto because Tail Concerto in America is worth like 150 bucks, so I assumed the Japanese version was worth more. But I I still only paid like 12 bucks for it. Uh, Lagaya got this nice copy of Street Fighter Zero. But the insert's like falling out. Actually, the manual's kind of skiffed. What's the point of Pachinko on PS2? Isn't it gambling? Yeah, well, like, why do old people play, like, slot machine apps on their phones is the answer to that question. Because people who are addicted to gambling are willing to settle for a pointless electronic recreation of it. Street Fighter Zero with the, the spine card in it. Yeah, well, not only did so many Saturn games not come to America, but there's also, like... Uh, like this Street Fighter, yeah, X-Men vs. Street Fighter. So, if you play the PlayStation version of this, you can't swap, uh, characters. Because the PlayStation didn't have enough memory for the tag battles. So only the Saturn version can handle that. And I don't think, I don't think the Saturn version of X-Men vs. Street Fighter came out of America. No, these aren't even shipping from Japan. These are shipping from some guys who just import crates of games from Japan. And then they they sell them here. Got a little One Piece. A little Kenshin. I mean, there's a lot of cool, like, anime games. And I'm always like, oh, I must be spending a fortune. And I look, and it's like, dude, you spent $50 to get, like, 20 games. Gundam Extreme Versus. I know there's, like, some, like, real good shit in here. But there's some stuff where I'm just, like... Okay, like, Front Mission 5 never came out in America. So that's pretty cool. Uh, more, more, a different Fist of the North Star Apache slot game. I thought these were, like, going to be brawlers. No, they're all pachinko. <laughs> uh, okay, but I did get... Okay, but this one I do want. I did want Evangelion pachinko. Anything Evangelion I will buy... Uh, Evangelion Pachinko. I want to take a look at the disc for that one. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Look at that. This Romiko Takahashi. This is interesting. I don't know if this is our, all new characters from her. The lady who made Ranma. I mean, it's clearly some sort of, like, anime adventure game, but it's just cool to see her art. 
This was cool. They uh, put all the Mega Mans on PlayStation 1 back in the day. This one I paid like, I think I paid like 15 bucks for this, but just the art on these is awesome. Uh, front Mission 4, because I'm a big Front Mission fan. Like, I got, like, all these, it's all games that I just like, and I would like to own the Japanese version of them, like Shadow Hearts. I think, oh, oh God. Look at how much cooler that disc is than the American disc. What the fuck? That's awesome. Yeah, their art is so much better. It's like, it actually makes me ashamed, like, how obviously ahead of us Jap Japan was in terms of graphic design, and, like, it would just come to America. Like, the American cover is just a bunch of shitty, like, 3D renders and shit, even the disc. And look at that. Fu that's awesome. Fuck, that's so cool. It's like a little fucking magic glyph and shit. Uh, I got a Dead or Alive 2 with this weird slip cover. That's kind of cool. Uh, I do have Gun Hazard. I never played it for that that long. So a nice Dead or Alive. And again, I'm paying like five bucks for these. So like, who cares? This I bid up. This is a three pack of all the Gunslinger Girl games based on like an anime. I think I got this to actually flip it. Because I was like, wait, that's way more money on eBay than what they're asking for it. No Jade Cocoon. Taiko is one that I could actually if I could get a Japanese PS2 I could actually play that so like rhythm games are cool Eco just cool to have uh, there's all these what do you call it uh, what do they call these with all the robots fighting Super Robot Wars but I only buy the Super Robot Wars games that have an EVA on the cover. Uh, if it has an Evangelion on the cover, then I consider it an Evangelion game, and I add it to my collection of Evangelion games. I accidentally got an extra copy of uh, Front Mission 4, so I need to do something about that. This is one, I think Tales of Destiny. Yeah, this is one of these games where, man, I wish this had got, I think this might have an English translation, finally. But we missed out on some really cool fucking JRPGs, and this is one of them. I'm looking at the back of this game, and it looks awesome. Uh, surprisingly, I didn't realize the poppin' music games are all, like, sought after. Because people really like poppin' music. Yeah, I ordered 50 inflatables. Guilty Gear, Double X. This is not... This is not uh, uh, Asuka. This is just Double X. Any fighting games I'll get, because those I could actually plug in and play and have a good time with them. Also, I just like uh, I just like Guilty Gear. So I guess we got Gu Guilty Gear Double X and Double X Reload. Look at that cover. That's fucking sick. I'll sell you the front mission four. I think I have an extra. Send me a DM on Twitter. This one's still got the. Is that the name of? The, is that the? Holy shit! Look at the manual for Guilty Gear Double X Reload. This is when they made the evil Kai Kisk robot. That's pretty fucking badass. That's pretty cool. Uh, I think this is actually... I think this might be worth something. Project Altered Beast. Why did we never get this one in America? This one actually looks sick from the back. Like, I actually want to... I had a Japanese PS2. I don't know what happened to it. This looks fucking awesome. This game must have sucked if it didn't come out here. It looks cool as hell. <coughs> Uh, Zone of the Enders. I'm just a Zone of the Enders fan. Let me see the disc on that. Yeah, it's just that classic Konami graphic design. Nice and clean. Project Altered Beast came out in a, in the EU. What were the uh, what were the reviews? Was it really bad? Because we definitely did not get that in America. Yeah, exactly. Remember the Ico? Okay, so the Ico cover in Japan is beautiful. It's a beautiful piece of art. In America, it's like a shitty 3D render of a kid who looks like uh, retarded. Okay, so this is a good example. This is like one of the Dynasty Warriors games. There's so many of these. I would just reuse this case for another PS2 game. Because they printed like a bajillion of these. It's not worth anything. But this is just a nice... Japanese people, for some reason, none of their cases have like any dirt on them. They're in like brand new condition, all of them. 
It's super weird. Uh, Eternal Rank. Oh, yeah, that's that From Software game. Yeah, Yakuza 3's cover is just his fucking face. Had to get the bouncer. I want to see the discard on that, Squaresoft. Oh, that's pretty cool. I like that. It's uh, I love looking at the disc art. You can very faintly see the engraving of a B with this uh, cool pattern. I love Squares. I, Squaresoft's graphic design it was like such a huge influence on me. Uh, Gundam versus something looks like a versus Gundam game. And the rest of this box has just PS1 stuff in it. Oh, I do have multiple FF8s now. Uh, Dakota, if you needed a Japanese FF8, I guess I accidentally got two of them. God, look at how beautiful these fucking discs are. Just that crisp white with that little art there. Beautiful. Uh, Chrono Cross. Here's, here's one thing, though. Okay, if you're buying these on Whatnot, this case is like a super weird size. So I guess Japan just had differently sized. Okay, so see how on the back it has this crack? I have no way to replace this because this is not like a standard sized double or single sized CD thing. So like I bought a copy of Xeno, I bought a copy of Xeno Gears from them and I was like, oh, I'll just replace the case. And then it got here and I was like, oh, I can't replace the case. It's like not possible. Uh... I was about to say, does this have the money? Oh, man, look at these fucking discs. Oh, dude, look at that. The dual color. That's so cool. Fuck, that's awesome. I love it. I love it. Fuck. That's rad, dude. Stop buying this junk. This is all inspiration, man. We got an, again. I said I'll get any fighting game. Star Gladiator, very cool. Have you always collected? Oh, I've always collected. Here, my copy of Star Gladiator. A Japanese school child has uh, left in his codes, his combos. So uh, my combo. I now know all the combos for Star Gladiator thanks to this child. 90s era Capcom shit uh, is like probably the biggest inspiration for. I want to. I need more. Well, I don't need anything. But look at that Star Gladiator disc. That's tight, dude. That's fucking tight. Look at that. Konami kid. There's one seller on there. He always goes. They always go live like super early in the morning, and they're just like churning through Japanese video games. And they're, like, so cheap that I'm like, man, I just want them to look at... Look at that. That's such... That's fucking sick. I love 90s era graphic design for Japan. Is this the fucking bill of... Is this the receipt? Oh, no. This is the send away card. And then I think this is the actual bill of sale from a Japanese kid 30 years ago. This is fun to go through these. Uh, Final Fantasy IV, I think this one actually got bit up pretty high with that nice Amano art on there. What's interesting about this... The, whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> it's good, it's good. So what's interesting about this... Uh, the disc is nothing to write home about, just kind of the logo, but... What are these, uh, what are these, what are these CG renders of the characters? Did they use these for, like, cutscenes for the PlayStation version? I don't know where that comes from. That's, like, super interesting. We have... Okay, I have another Fist of the North Star game. Is it Patchy Slot? It is not Patchy Slot. This seems like an actual video game that I could play. Uh, oh, this, this one's going to make you guys a little jealous, I think. I think this was a steal. Wow, look at the manual on this. So, here, let's... All right, all right. How do I... Oh, no, is the case broken? Case is whatever. Oh, so first of all, Parappa the Rapper. I think the case might be kind of fucked up. 
Look at that parapper. Look at that discard. Look at that. That's sick. I love that. Uh, hold on. I think this case has got like a little something wrong with it. I want to get that insert to not be falling out. The way they designed the Japanese PlayStation cases, this little like front panel does seem to slip out way too easily. Although they look nice. Uh, we have the Parappa. Is this the manual? I don't know what this is. I guess. The manual is just one page. It looks like a little LP. Uh, does have the spine card. But, and here's here's the most exciting part. Can I can I get this out of there? Oh my god. Oh my god. My Parappa the Rapper Town poster. And all the instructions to the game are actually on the back of that. I should get this framed. Look at this fucking thing. That's a real poster right there. She Cool beans. Scraps is trying to join the stream. Hi, Scraps. Hello. That is pretty tight. We got a Star Ocean. Pretty cool. Uh, I want to know what this is. Somebody told me this game is good. On the front, there is a cutting board. On the back, it looks like some sort of kicking, uh, cooking mini game frenzy. And the discard is a bowl of ramen. Nice. Uh, this I should not have bought. For some reason, I thought this was something cool, but it is not. It is Neo Atlas. What I didn't realize, all the all the Konami games in Japan had this strip saying, like, simulation role-playing game or fantasy, uh, fantasy rhythm game. That's pretty nice. Vandal Hearts. This is why nobody cares. Okay, video game companies are like, why is nobody buying physical video games? Because this is exciting what we're doing right now. It's cool to see, like, what comes with the game and all the exciting discard, and now it's just like a throwaway stupid thing. Like, look at this Legend of... Okay, first of all, all right, Legend of Mana. Nice cover. This thing has fucking weight to it. Okay. There's a Parappa the Rapper sample and the Buster uh, Baxter. Rapper left it. Inside, got this thick plastic tray with this nice disc with, like, actual... It looks kind of, like, artistic. It looks like I bought, like, a, like a fucking CD. Like, a, it looks like I bought a vinyl album these are like little works of art it's got a full mat two discs a full color manual okay you buy something like this and you're like wow i feel like i actually bought an item i didn't just buy access to like a download online sick you want to see a sick you want to see some sick cover art though uh look up the look up the american version of this cover but let's take a look at omega boost Look at that. Oh my god. How do you not want to play this fucking robot game after seeing that cover? That's sick. I think this one, does this not have the manual though? Fuck, no manual. Look at that disc. That's crunchy as fuck. I love it. I love it. You feel sorry for when my sister has to sell all this crap? Yeah, she'll just throw it in a dumpster. It's fine. I've accepted it. Uh, anything else? Anything else good? This one I'm confused about. Somehow I bought this Bushido Blade 2, but it doesn't have a cover, but it has this, like, lenticular cover. I don't know, it looks like shit. Uh, classic Kingsfield. Again, though, I have to really pay, like, it sucks when they come cracked, because I have no way to replace these cases. Uh, this was a, oh, wait. Oh, no, I got an interesting one coming up. So this was interesting. This is Persona 2, but whatever Japanese person bought it. And these discs are these discs are nice. Whoa, motherfucker. So for those of you who know, there's actually two versions of Persona 2. There's Eternal Punishment and there's Innocent Sin. And they were sold separately. 
Uh, okay, yeah. So this, wow, this is cool. This is cool. This is an all black disc. So this has the Persona, that's the game disc, and then disc two, just all black, is like a special bonus disc. But it also had the disc for Innocent Sin, so I guess whoever was into this also just liked Persona. So both Persona 2s are in this for some reason. God, that's... See, games don't look as cool as this. What happened? This game, uh, I actually want to bring up. The Street Fighter 2 interactive movie. I didn't even know this game existed until the other day. And I got a great deal on that one. Uh, let me see if I can bring that up. Have you guys ever seen the Street Fighter 2 interactive movie? Uh, it's the stupidest thing I've ever seen in my life. To the point where I'm like, who came up with this? And why is it this bad? Uh, let me go on YouTube. YouTube.com. Street Fighter 2 interactive movie. Let me see if I can sort. Uh, let me go back to sources. Firefox. Okay. Will this have the whole game? So the game is. Jesus Christ. So it's a movie for your PlayStation. Well, everybody likes movies, right? Oh, this is not on the screen at all. Firefox, be on the screen. Transform fit the screen. Okay. So there's a game mode. This guy's going to the battle mode. I want to go to the game mode. So the game mode is you watch a movie, which is probably like 640, whatever the fuck resolution. Uh, and the, the story is that M. Bison has built these robots to, ex to watch all the other Street Fighters and learn their moves. Okay, like to go watch Ryu fight and learn his skills. So, <laughs> this is so stupid. So, this is your heads-up display because you're the robot, right? You're the robot learning all the Street Fighter moves. And you have to, while it's going on, if they do something cool, you have to click right when they do something cool, and then your robot power goes up. So, like, if Ryu throws a fireball, you got to put the cursor on Ryu and then click it, and then you'll gain some robot power. So you, so you watch a movie in this terrible frame, and while you watch the movie, you randomly click on shit, hoping that it will make your power as a robot go up. Uh, and I guess you can scan them and learn their stats throughout the movie. So you do that the whole game... You watch, a, you watch an hour and a half fucking movie while clicking on people and also being told that you clicked at the wrong time so you didn't get any powers until finally, at the very end of the movie, uh, after Ryu and Ken fight, M. Bison shows up and he says, here's my robot. Here's my robot after an hour and ten minutes and then you get to do one Street Fighter match as the robot. And depending on how much power you gained while watching the movie and clicking on shit, that's how powerful you are. Everybody who plays it says, it, it doesn't matter. By the time you... Uh, when you get to this fight, your guy's just infinitely weak. Like, he just sucks. And he only has Ken's moves. And you can't play as anyone other than... There is, like, a just play the game mode, and you can't play as anyone other than the stupid robot. Like, look... Look at how much... Ch he's just doing, like, chip damage. Like... You're just this gay purple cyborg that can't do any damage. Alright, well, he's finally getting in. And then there's three different... There's three different endings depending on whether or not you win or lose or what. So if you win, you kill Ryu, and then I guess M. Bison becomes president. Oh, wait! But Ryu is here to stop him! Oh, shit! <laughs> so it's like the worst idea for a uh, movie I've ever heard. Uh, they used the Street Fighter 2 turbo engine. Yeah, the anime movie was good. 
But I wish they had released this as like an actual movie as opposed to one where you got to watch play a cyborg and uh, become king of the cyborgs. All right, last three games in this case are... I think this is the one we got. Tornico's Mystery Dungeon 2, which I think is the one that came to America as number one. I don't know if we got the first or the second one. He did die playing Overwatch. A game called Auburn Force, which I took a risk on, hoping it was some sort of shooter, and it is clearly just trash. And then, guys, talking about classic Capcom design. Classic, beautiful Capcom. Breath of Fire 3. Capcom in the 90s. Uh, look at that. Look at how. Look at how. Look at this. So it's got this nice little map, and all the spots with coloring are raised. It's texture. You can feel it. You can run your, your finger across it and touch the map. It is sad that Breath of Fire is dead. Look at that. Look at that. I want to see this manual. God, look at that. That's beautiful. Oh! Oh! Look at this! Full color character artwork. Oh, baby. Look at that. That is, uh, that is fantastic. Look in the back. Ooh, they even got a little... Somebody went, and you could tell they took pictures of a TV because there's little scan lines on the on the screenshots. <laughs> so they actually, somebody went and just took a nice crisp photo of the monitor for the for the use of the fucking manual you can see the actual scan lines from the monitor they took a picture of it's not even a, it's not even a computer screenshot that's uh, that's incredible when am i going to play some crap jrpgs the problem with jrpgs is i can't stream them for two hours at a time people would go insane do i have any working designs titles yeah, there's a couple of them here. We show. I showed a. Which one did I not show? Uh, where'd it go? Oh wait, working designs. I thought you meant. Uh, yeah, I have the American working design stuff. Uh, you, uh, but no, there's no like lunar in here. If that's what you're talking about. So yeah, some cool stuff, man. Uh, and there's an there's an entire second box in the other room which we will not go through. Anyway, uh, so yeah, that's what I've been working on. I don't know. I'd like to stream JRPGs. That would be fun. I wonder if I I don't know. It's hard to find time to stream anything. Uh, I'm just always working. Anyway, let me get this stuff off my desk. We'll round, we'll fig, we'll uh, finish out this uh, Dead Cells playthrough. If I was gonna die playing a video game, play Counter Trigger. I actually won a. The other thing about whatnot is they just run like giveaways, so I won a Japanese copy of Chrono Trigger. But I think that's only worth like five bucks. Get out of here. Can't even see the screen. Poor Rapper the Rapper. With original poster. Would I stream Super Mario RPG? I don't know, man. Maybe I could... Maybe there's a universe in which I could, like, stream... That's Daddy's Cookie. ...stream RPGs. But I don't think people watch RPG streams because they don't think they're exciting. Anytime I've tried to stream an RPG, people are like, What the fuck is this? This is fucking gay. I'd like to stream through, uh, finish some of the Tales games that I never finished. Ch -ch -ch. Ooh, hello. I gotta save up 10,000 so I can get that dumb key. I would like a weapon other than this shit crowbar. Alright. 
So every time I activate the statue, I never get to kill these. Where are you guys going? How are you supposed to kill these guys? There's. Oh my god, I almost finally killed one. How? How are you supposed to kill them? They're so fucking fast. And I still don't know how I'm supposed to get through these areas either. How does it feel to be vindicated? Your accusers were harboring an actual PDF file. Yeah, they're all fucking... Look. Guys, if you're worried about pedophiles, they're not guys on the internet making stupid jokes. They just aren't. And all of them are... What's weird is they're all patting themselves on the back. Like they did something. They're like, well, honestly, I think we've come closer together now that we've exposed this guy. For those of you who don't know, one of these comic skate guys... Specifically one who worked with all these guys who, who were like, Vito's toxic. Uh, Vito, Vito should not be making comics. It's going to ruin comics or whatever the fuck. Those guys, it turned out they had been hiring a, a PDF file to fucking draw covers for them and shit. And that guy's art sucked. It's always weird how like much bad art I see. Where I'm like, how do you guys not know that this looks like trash? But now they're all like, yeah, hey, you know, well, we're going to call his parole officer. You're going to call his parole officer and tell him what? He was making comic books? What are you, retarded? What do you think his parole officer is going to say? Oh, thanks for letting me know. That's 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 the important part of my job is uh, to, to stop pedophiles from making comic books, which is not against the law, and it doesn't matter. So bizarre. Do you only stream on Twitch? We're currently live at YouTube.com slash Vito. I mean, look, I'll say this. Some of those guys have, like, you know, been w willing to listen to reason. They're like, all right, Vito's not that bad or whatever. But they were very, like, loudly, like, Vito guy's a bad guy. By the way, we hired a pedophile to make comic books for us. Well, maybe you're not so good at finding bad guys. Have you thought about that? Have you thought that maybe your ability to figure out who's causing trouble is, a uh, compromised? That at no point did you go, hey, you know what's weird? Uh, this guy literally didn't exist on the internet until five years ago. I wonder where he was. And, uh, well, I don't want to ask that question. I'm sure everything's fine. Didn't Pee Wee flip on Jeffrey Jones on some pedo stuff? I have no idea. Yeah, they're gonna erase him from all their campaigns, and like anybody who bought shit, they're gonna like refund him or just like replace his page. One guy's gonna redraw his entire first comic book. And I'm like, well, that's stupid. No one's gonna buy that, idiot. Uh. So like, yeah, we're going to redraw all of issue one because he drew it. I'm like, okay, sure. That's what you feel you need to do, but. Uh, YouTube.com slash veto. Yeah, uh, guys, I hate to say it. First of all, I'm not here to save American comics. I, I don't know what you people are doing. Uh, I'll say this. I like Japanese comics. I like the Japanese humor. Uh, I'll say this: I showed my I showed my comic to some guys who read like American comics, and they were like, uh, they were like, "Yeah, you should change this, this, and this." And like, they're like, "It needs to be more, it needs to be more like extreme," you know? They're like. Uh, one guy's like, I think the main girl should have, uh, she should have, like, cancer or something. I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? They're like, yeah, I think she should be dying of an incurable illness, because then we understand, you know, why she's this way. And I was like, okay, cool. Uh, I'll keep that in mind. I don't think I want to give my main character cancer, though. Uh, so that's some of the, uh, that's some of the... That's some of the feedback I got from guys who read American comics. And then I showed it to some people who read Japanese comics, and they were like, Oh, I laughed my ass off. Yeah, that's really it's a really funny book. 
They're like I was laughing out loud. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> Good. Because I was concerned when uh, people were telling me that my main character needs to get cancer. I was like, I don't, I don't think that, I don't think that's what I need to do. I could be wrong. What are your favorite mangas that are running right now? Uh, I think Mashley's over though. I started reading Mashley. Uh, Roboco, wait, Roboco, Roboco. Uh, One Punch Man. I will say this, uh, probably one thing I'm realizing though, is like, people are really expecting that Super Killer is gonna be like, fucking hardcore. Like, oh, so like, and I'm like, well, it's gonna get kinda hardcore, but I guess maybe I need to like, I think I might need to put more fucking crazy, shocking, violent shit in there. Right now, the violence is almost tasteful and happens off screen, and I probably need to get more over the top with it. Yeah, Mashley's finished. Oh, uh, Uncle from Another World. Guys, it's on Netflix. You gotta watch it. Watch Uncle from Another World. The fuck? Dude. I can't hit this guy. It is called Super Killer. I mean, he blows one guy. He, he, sh I mean, people get fucking obliterated, but I might need to show some, like, limbs getting ripped off. Fifteen damage on survival. I don't. I don't actually know how I'm supposed to parse out those. Uh, oh, I knew I was gonna fuck it up there. God damn it! Keep fucking up my combos. Oh, I got hit there as well. I suck. I don't read One Piece. I think the art is bad. I don't understand. I, I legitimately hate One Piece's art. I think it started off and it looked good, and now the guy's just like, oh, my style now is like not making the art good. And I'm like, oh, okay. Well, I don't want to read that. Like, no, it's cool. It's all like sketchy and shitty now. I'm like, yeah, it looks like dog shit. I don't get it, man. I'm like, haven't people noticed that the art quality like is definitely I mean, it's his style now, but I think the way his style evolved, like, sucks. Can you, motherfuckers? What am I supposed to do? They just... I... Oh, my God. How are you supposed to kill them if they just jump from fucking place to place? Uh, the hentai variant is less than the other covers because it costs more, but we sold a healthy amount. I'm, I still have to figure out the best way to put the poster in there, though. Did I check out solo leveling? No. You'll have to remind me what the hell that is. Oh, that was that. Yeah, that's that. And is it an anime or a manga? Oh, I'm sure it started as a manga, but... Where do you read it? Online? I am aware of that autistic puppet, Tuki. I've been uh, following some of the, I saw, what do you call it? Stuttering John had a good time in Atlantic City. Is it Atlantic City where they were? I thought they were in Vegas at first because Patrick Melton was there, but I guess they went to Atlantic City. Any update on shipping prices? Yeah, it's a hundred bucks to ship it and no refunds.
Yeah. The boys is awesome. I love mother's milk. God forbid I get a pop figure of like one of the boys like superheroes or somebody cool, you know, like Homelander. Now I got mother's milk. Good old mother's milk. What the fuck? I don't even know how I got up here. Am I causing this poison? I am winning. I'm always winning. There's nothing in here. Why am I even down here? Did I miss an area? It looks like I missed something. I'm confused. No, no secrets. I have not watched the Chucky show. I heard he has cancer. I sent you guys credit. Maybe it'll be in the chest this week. Good, let's burn it. Fuck it. Let's burn something I love. Let's burn something that I love. Oh my god. Let's burn a guy's cradle. Everybody wants to see me get something cool now. That's the bit. <laughs> what is the bit? <laughs> and people are mad at me. They're like, Vito, why do you keep asking what the bit is? I'm like, because I don't get it. I get it on some level. Oh, uh, let's put it this way. If Vito doesn't lose weight, he, uh doesn't get the money that bit i get because the bit is lose money and get the thing I'm like okay i get that and i see why that's funny that makes sense i can follow that through line this still doesn't really make sense <laughs> i'm glad the audience enjoys it uh so that's worth something you sent in a Helm of the Host. What's Helm of the Host? Like 12 bucks? Actually, Helm of the Host is probably like worth something now, huh? 20 bucks? It's a Mother's Milk Pop figure. Again. Play guitar hero. I do like guitar hero. I was never that good at guitar hero, but I do okay. I should play DDR. How much to do a DDR stream? I heard you're looking forward to the game Deca Police. Is that true? <laughs> yeah, I'm really looking forward to Deca Police. No, it looks like trash. It looks bad. And level five has made level five does not know what they're fucking doing these days. Doesn't level 5 have a bunch of, like, shitty games? It's your fault for leaving it behind. Yeah, it's my fault. Uh, oh, shit. Elite Shield Bearer. Nope, wrong button. Fuck. Fuck. Oh, God, I hate these shield guys. Dude, how is he blocking everything I do? There we go. Dodging plants a bomb. That's pretty cool. Ten cops? No thanks, Deca Police. Exactly. Who wants ten cops? Honestly, Deca Police looks like one of those ideas that you come up with. Where it's like, oh yeah, wouldn't it be cool if you like do a bunch of Professor Layton shit and then have a bad RPG battle? I don't know. I think it'll probably get a 70. But I couldn't see any like truly bad looking games. For those of you who don't know, I'm in a uh, fantasy league where uh, I'm in a fantasy league where you have to pick games that you think will score highly on Metacritic and if they do, you get points. 
And you can also pick games you think will do badly. Or you have to pick at least two games you think will do badly. And I've picked uh, Level 5's Deca Police because I think it looks fucking boring as hell. You want a Madam Web review? I need to do a thing where, like, people can... I need to do a thing where people can pay to get me to do a thing. Right? Because I didn't want to do a Madam Web review because I'm like, well, nobody's going to watch it and I'm going to make, like, $10 in ad revenue. I, mean, I, I would lose money reviewing Madam Web is the way I looked at it. If I went to see Madam Web, I'd have to buy a ticket. Uh, I'd spend a couple hours, you know, making the review and editing it. And the amount of mo time I would spend reviewing it, I would lose money once I made my ad revenue. How do we get on that Fantasy League? There's a website that does it. So I'm, I've been in that. We've been doing it for like, what, four years now? And I've never won because I suck. More health potions, please. Madam Web, because, yeah, no one's going to watch a Madam Web review. That's the problem. The only people who are going to watch a Madam Web review are, like, people who want to hear you shit on it, which is funny, and I get it, but it's not going to get enough views to be worth doing it as opposed to anything else. I will boot if anyone can get a bootleg copy of it, I would watch and review that, but it's called Patreon you dolt. Well, the Patreon I, 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 I don't know what Patreon wants and like if they told me, "Hey, we want you to review more movies." I don't know. I have no idea what I'm doing on YouTube anymore. Here's the deal. I'm going to make the big I'm going to make the big Ghostbusters review video and then after the Ghostbusters one, I'm going to do Star Wars. All right. Wrong button. Ammo stuck in this enemy. Well, how do I get it back? Fuck. Fuck. Wrong button. Wrong button. Fuck. Man, this guy's got a lot of fucking HP. Christ. I'm gonna be pissed when I lose to this guy. Oof. Fuck! How does he have so much fucking health? Jesus. Anyway, that's probably good that I'm dead there, because it is almost exactly 8 o'clock. I need some garlic bread. I need some garlic bread. Uh, we are your Patreon people. Make more reviews. Eh, maybe, yeah. Well, okay. I wanted Dick to review Madam Web with me. I would have done it if Dick had said yes, but Dick does not want to do it. He says he's too busy this week. So, maybe it would be good if I could find a friend who wants to review movies with me when Dick doesn't want to, because then we just do the thing where we sit down and talk about it. But just reviewing it by myself, I didn't want to do. I think it's better when it's a discussion. Alright, I'm going to figure out some dinner. 
Thanks to everybody who uh, sent in super chats. Hunter for five. Chris Schofield for seven. Right Dude here for ten. Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. Riley Edwards for two. Riley Edwards for another two. We had Jay at Jab City. We had Konami Kid. Luke Bagnell. Jay Thompson. If I missed anybody, I'm sorry. Enjoy your uh, Valentine's Day, guys. Friday, biggest problem in the universe. Number 129. The return of Vito's booty. Going to be a fun one. And yeah, as Kara's put in the chat, don't forget to check out superkiller.org.